Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mike here, and we are back bringing you Chunk Survival with Parkour, Episode 2, and I have a tree behind me. I literally just spawned this, like restart, just started up the world again. I got a tree. I'm hugging it. Or, sort of. Need to hug a tree. Hug a tree. Be nice. But, yeah, we are back, and let me get my stuff back up here. We are back, and... As you can notice, I... Oh! Now I got two trees. I love you. Seriously, I wanna... I need some... I'm not gonna say that. Um, as you can see, I did get rid of my house. And there's a sapling missing because my computer crashed the other day and I did lose some data. Um, I don't know why it affected Minecraft. Don't ask me. But... As you can see, I took out my world, my, not my world, my house, because I realized that one of the challenges was to build a house and expand the chunk, and I'm not going to really expand it if I start making out of the wood that I need to use to get cobblestone, which is the reason, another reason why I didn't get cobblestone was because I need it to expand, help expand the chunk. And build my house out of it so nothing can get into or out of it unless me but I didn't start doing cobblestone because that's part of the process of me being able to build my house so if I quickly grab my wooden pickaxe I in case you haven't noticed I did redo my thing here a bit my generator a bit and what he did was the block that I put here it's actually supposed to be one deep two deep cube there and the lava would go for two, or else it turns into obsidian. And to make sure, I tested it in another world, and I would get obsidian if I didn't change it. So, luckily, that's hopefully not going to happen. So let's get started. Now, what's going to happen is every time it ends up on like this half, it's going to get pushed into the water for me to easily collect it. So let's just try. To, um, that's gone. Oh, oh, push it back up to me. So what's going to happen is I'm just going to try and grab a couple down to lay as a foundation and oh oh want to get that piece of dirt back put that down right there make sure nothing goes wrong and let's quickly go back to doing this sorry for being silent I'm, I just like zoned um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try to get a couple pieces of uh come on a couple pieces of cobblestone here and then I'm going to try the parkour challenge one. I'm um, yeah, I'm going to do the first challenge because if I don't what's the point? It's a parkour map and a survival map. You have to do both. So that's what I'm going to do today and I almost have let's see how many I have. Let's get to 20 and then we'll put this away and get started. So what I can also do is I can take um, I can take the dirt that I have right now. Well, not that I have right now, even though I only have seven. I can take the dirt. Oh, it's almost night time. Look at the sunset. That moves a lot faster than you think it is. And the spider. The spider's enjoying with us. Nope, now you're staring at me. Oh, he knows he's friend friendly. But... Um, I'm going to take some of the dirt. I'm going to leave the ones around the parkour challenges so it gives me an extra leverage to get to the jumps and stuff and the builder bridge parts. I'm hoping a zombie or something doesn't spawn over here where the lava light doesn't get, get as much in. But I'm going to take, use the dirt that I get from the surrounding area and then try to expand the chunk into a very large long platform. Which will knock off two challenges for getting, for not getting, but for expanding the chunk. And then this cobblestone I'm going to be using for building the bridge, for the builder bridge challenges. And let me just double check here. Okay, as long as nothing spawns here. And would you look at that? We have a creeper. Creeper, be stupid. Look at that. Look at the texture pack. Look what it does to it. it. Really makes everything grainy. I actually kind of like that with the creepers. Oh, this skeleton's going to have a fun day. 
This guy's close. Oh. Okay, how does a spider... Of all creatures fall off the edge of the world when it can just climb? I, I don't understand Minecraft sometimes. Come on. Give me that. Okay, that's 20. So let's just quickly... Actually, I can't do anything for the time being. Because it's night time. And there we go. He's gone. Can't do anything... What? Didn't he just... No, he fell off. Okay, I got totally confused for a second. So we have nothing over there by the Builder Bridge 1. And... Builder Bridge 2 is just going to lead us to the moon. I'm turning into a werewolf. <laughs> um, we have the... I almost said moon again. We have the Builder Bridge 2. I think I'm going to start... I want to start off with the Builder Bridge 1. Keep going. Keep thinking of Builder Bear. I don't know why. Get those thoughts out of my head. But... Now oh, you're back. And we have two creepers. That is just lovely. Um, so, what I'm going to try and do here is, the, since I can't do anything, actually, let's, let's just start building the house right now. Because I don't want to do anything during the night that could end up hurting this. So let's clear off some more of this. I'm going to put my house in this corner. So I'll start off by laying some cobblestone down here. And... Cozy. Oh, this is, this is getting underway. I feel like I'm going to need to move this chest at some point. And I'm... One of the challenges is to get an infinite water source. I know you need two ice rocks for that. I'm trying to figure out whether or not these two will freeze over to allow me to do that. If I just quickly put them off into another, this pick up this water, and during one night just like stick it out somewhere over here. Oh. Don't worry. I'm not looking at you. Ooh. Okay. Seriously? That's just the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. Let's quickly put some more of these down. Uh, oh, I'm going to save this last one because in here we have this. And this. Sorry if I'm fumbling around, like it looks like my mouse is like going spastic because I'm actually using probably one of the smallest mice you've ever seen in your life. It's called a mini optical mouse, so it's just like a regular mouse, except it's probably an inch and a half by half an inch the key the buttons are l probably half an inch actually so two and a half by like one i don't know why my dad had it from his work and my mom is using her computer and i usually take her keyboard but yeah that's what i'm stuck with right now so it doesn't matter um let's move on and let's just put this last one down so now I have some form of a wall. So this is going to be my house area. I just need to finish blocking that off. So let's start on that. Quickly grab some more cobblestone and that one. Lava. I hate you. So the lava on this pack actually looks really good too. Compared to the original. Looks a lot like blurred and fuzzed out. It's kind of cool. So. Let's see, do I have any stories that I could tell you guys? No. Because nothing. there's absolutely nothing that happens in my life. I have, like, three things going on. Band. Like, school stuff. Piano. And this. So, nothing really going on except sometimes, like, when my friends do stupid stuff in school. It doesn't happen too often. So... Let's quickly grab some grab some of these. So I got seven off of that. Let's continue on with putting this down. And so this is definitely gonna be a drop down. I'm probably gonna put stairs there. Yeah, let's get I don't have any wood. Let's get some wood. I this this would be 
really bad if I didn't get any saplings off of these two trees. I don't know how that'd be possible, but let's just quickly grab them. And I think I'm going to end the episode here with the beginning of a house and collecting all this wood after I just grab these two trees. And I think we'll end it there. Come back tomorrow or episode three again, still during the night, if still there by the end of this. So let's just quickly grab these. See if there's any saplings out there yet. If you're wondering like, why my leaves look different, it's because one of the things I've installed is called I have a couple mods, except they're not really mods; they're just additions to the actual game, like recipe book, in case I need it. Because I'm a very forgetful person. And one of these things is I can, um, I can change details of certain things, like if trees. I can make them fancy, or default see how they're see-through I can change that to opaque which actually looks really nice which is as which I prefer over this I prefer I like the see-through when like if I want to make sure there's no mobs in that area but this I really like because it helps render things faster because it doesn't have to try getting everything to look through it but it looks really nice it looks like actual like, foliage for trees so well, I'm just going to let the rest of these come out for on their own time. Just put these down. And actually, I'm just going to leave them in here. Put some of this wood in and get some coal. And while that's cooking up, I'll let that finish itself. And well, this is, guys, this has been episode two of the Chunk Survival Map with Parkour by MazenBlue743. I'd like to thank you for watching. This is Mike. Signing off. See you guys next time.